Welcome back to Today in AZ. Let's get you up to speed now. At least two people are dead and eight others hurt in a shooting at a South Carolina club. It happened at the Lavish Lounge in Greenville County earlier this morning. So far, the identities of the victims haven't been released and no word on the condition of those injured. Officials say there was a large concert happening inside the club at the time of the shooting. No suspects have been arrested. And a man is dead this morning after a confrontation with Phoenix police that led to a shooting. Officers tell us around one o'clock yesterday afternoon they responded due to a follow up of an aggravated assault call that took place about a week ago. A caller directed them to a home where they say the suspect was located. Officers contacted several people within the home along with a man sitting in a car in the driveway. They say at some point while speaking with that man, he got a gun. That's when officers opened fire. The man was taken to a hospital and pronounced dead. A large group of protesters didn't take a break from filling the streets of downtown Phoenix last night, even on the holiday. Those people demanding justice for Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Vanessa Guillen, a U.S. soldier, went missing two months ago in Texas. Her remains were found this week. The FBI is working to piece together exactly what happened. And here we go, Yeezy 2020. Is everybody awake yet? That could be a possibility. Kanye West posted an Independence Day tweet announcing his plans to run for president. It's not clear if West is serious about vying for the title of commander in chief or if he even has a chance to make it on the ballot. Every state has a different deadline as to when a candidate must file paperwork to have their name appear on a ballot. The deadline has passed for many states, which means West would have been, would have had to write in its hard to believe, right? Not to mention, we are four months away from the November election, so we'll keep you posted on that. And now you're up to speed. Don't forget, you can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com, or of course, the free 12 News app.